I did have one situation on routes that a lot of people don't know about. Uh, this would be in conjunction with the naming of the baby scene in which Kunta Kinte holds the infant up to the heavens and says, behold, the only thing greater than yourself. It's a pivotal moment in the film and in the culture. And uh, they had a real, real baby, a little infant. I don't know how old the child was. I made it to be about six, seven months old. And of course he was there with his baby, or the baby caregiver, or the person who was responsible for the child's welfare on the set. But it was a particularly cold night. So we did the naming ceremony. And there was an English director that had directed that scene. And weeks later, he was to come back because in looking at the dailies, evidently with some dust motes or something, he wanted a pristine, crystal clear night sky as a backdrop for this naming sequence. And he wasn't satisfied. So the night he chose to reshoot it was in conjunction with some shots we already had lined up. So it kind of disrupted the shooting for that night. Nobody's upset about it. I mean, the man's a prominent director from England. And uh, again, they brought the baby out. But now it's freezing cold. And they had unwrapped the infant to prepare him for the scene. And I can see the little baby's getting goosebumps. Now, I'm a father and a grandfather. So my blood pressure's starting to go up because this kid is, this child, this infant is being exposed to the elements like he's some kind of a prop. And I lost it. And I, I admit, I can, in retrospect, I can see because statute of limitations has run out. I threatened his life. I told him, if you don't get this baby wrapped up and get this shot finished, I'm going to get a knife and open you up like a bag of bad rice. And I meant it. Because, I mean, it was, it, sure, I went overboard. And um, I could have been more diplomatic. But at that time, I'm looking at this child freezing, a little infant. And he's starting to shiver. And I said, who's taking care of this baby? Who, who, who's it? And so the lady who, who's, whose job it is to take care of the infant, she said, she was somewhat afraid. She was intimidated because she didn't know if she had the right to speak up. I said, speak up. And so she said, I am, Mr. Amos. I said, well, come wrap this child up now, right now. And she did. And the director got a little, you know, pissed off. Here I am giving orders and direct. I said, hey, this is a baby here. This is not a damn movie prop. So they conceded, and then when I topped it off by threatening to open up like a bag of bad rice with the nearest knife I could find, he, he got the message. <laughs> so a couple of the crew came over and in a sort of an off-handed way said, hey, did you hear about the actor that went crazy on the set? Yeah, we were shooting another movie. Another actor went crazy. We had to take him to the home. You know, like, uh, you getting the message, John? You aren't bigger than this production, you know? It wasn't even about my ego or, you know, it was about this baby's welfare. So subsequently, he got the shot that he wanted, and we all went home, and I didn't commit, you know, a homicide that night, and life went on.